With all the action there. Good afternoon, Devin. Hey, Bill, I'm officially in heaven. This is my favorite weekend of the year, being able to stroll the streets of downtown Fairhope and see all of these artists. I've been coming here since I was a little girl, and I look forward to it every single year. We do have some gray skies, but those skies are not affecting the crowds. I mean, things have really picked up, but the festival has grown so large that you never feel crowded. It, it's really a you know perfect number of people right now. Today, probably we will see the smallest crowd because it's Friday, but we should see the crowds pick up tomorrow and then we'll have to see what happens on Sunday with that expected weather that's going to move in. Now, I kicked things off this morning with the welcome ceremony uh, right at the entertainment stage and I was able to uh, talk with Mayor Sherry Sullivan who thanked all of the volunteers. It takes a village to put this on. Also, the Dogwood Trail Maids were there and they curtsied, which was the official start of the Arts and Crafts Festival. They were here to welcome all the visitors. Speaking of visitors, we're talking about 300,000 people are expected in downtown Fairhope this weekend. And our chief photographer, Jason Garcia, flew his drone over downtown Fairhope just about an hour ago. And you can see all the white tents set up and all the artists who are going to be welcoming visitors. So if you are coming to the festival, it's open from 10 to 5 today, tomorrow and Sunday. Admission is free. There's a food court, a children's art tent. There is entertainment. We talked about that entertainment stage. There are also some street musicians. So come on over here and just relax and enjoy all the unique art that you're going to see around you because these artists have come from all over the country and Canada. Let's go ahead and check in with WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams. She is live here on the streets and Debbie, you and I had a chance to